go. Okay, today we woke up at 4.30. We traveled to the Grand Rapids airport. We checked our bags and James' pack was too heavy, so he took off the brain and used that as his under the seat item. Right before we go secure, through security, we realized that his brain has three knives on it that we're about to try to bring through security. So we have to go back to the checked bag line, and it's very long at this point. So we checked the bag, and we're like one of the last people to get on the plane because we were very late. And then we arrive in Las Vegas. We pick up our checked bags. The belt strap, like hip strap, broke off of mine in security, and they don't really care. So. Here I am fixing that, but we had a four hour layover and our flight to Fresno was delayed, so it became five and a half hours. But we've made it here to our hotel in Fresno. We Ubered to Joanne Fabrics. We bought the equipment to repair this, and now I'm sewing my pack together. Fixed it. Check out that buckle. Okay, <laughs> so it begins. <laughs> okay, so this morning we started at the Fresno Airport Hotel. Easy walk across the street to the yard shuttle. It was like a four, almost five hour yard shuttle bus to Yosemite Valley. Got our permits, easy. Got the half dome stamp, easy. And then we are off to the Backpackers Campground for tonight, our current location for night one in the wilderness, night two of the trip. Um, we've got our permit, there are a camp tag here. We scoped out the mist trail for tomorrow. Looks pretty good. We're gonna wake up at like 3, 4 a.m. Super early rise, pretty good. All right, so first day on the John Muir Trail, but at last night at our site, there was like probably 200 people there, and we were like the second ones there, and so we just like came, set up our tent, came back and like went to bed at like six. Well, Kirsten was asleep and I was trying to sleep. That's when 90% of the people got there. People were like doubling, tripling up on campsites, shoving all their stuff and each other's bear lockers so that was a mess but now we're out of there on the trail and we've got mac and cheese and coffee and uh oatmeal Day one was tough. We did um, maybe a little more, a little further than we were thinking or planning, um, but pretty much right on plan. It turned out to be about seven miles, about 3,000 feet. Half of the trail was stairs, and the other half was switchbacks. I had to carry Kirsten's pack for uh, <laughs> a few switchbacks. For like eight minutes. <laughs> um. Yeah, and we did Because he wouldn't uh, let me eat lunch. But yeah, we uh, <laughs> probably learned some lessons on day one. We'll hike a little smarter in the future. But tomorrow will be pretty easy. Just half dome with day packs and then come back to the same site. So it should be a little bit of like a rest day tomorrow. But, uh... This earth is round.
you got in permits all those times? Uh, back the first two wasn't required. Okay. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Fantastic. Uh -oh. I knew there was a reason. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so we just left what feels like the spot we've been at forever. Kind of the base of Clouds Rush Trail, I guess. Someone at the top of Half Dome told us there'd be some water further up the trail, which we didn't think there would be. So we're gonna head up some tonight, hopefully find some water and get some of the miles of tomorrow done tonight. It's also our first attempt at like getting miles in the latter part of the day at uh, near sunset, where it's also, obviously it's cooler at mornings and night. And we'll see how it feels. Um, and still not used to the altitude and the incline. So very out of breath already. Hey bear, you're looking at us. Bye bear. Goodbye bear. God damn. Bye bear. All right, this will be camp. Uh, camping a little later than we were planning, but this was the first suitable. Okay. <laughs> okay. This guy on top of Half Dome tells us, oh, a mile and a half down the trail, there's the best spig of the water you'll ever find, okay? Best, freshest water. So, oh, we can just sleep at that water, and then that's that much closer for tomorrow's hike because we feel pretty good today. Well, we don't start this hike until like seven, six, six, six. And we just finished dinner, so I get a really bad stomach ache, <laughs> and it's really hot, and there's constant mosquitoes. Well, it's not that hot. Well, I'm really hot. <laughs> yeah, we're sweating. <laughs> and then there was a bear. Oh well, yeah. A baby bear. Bear and baby bear. Hundred feet off the trail. Two hundred feet off the trail. Hundred feet. And then we see some guys and ask about the water and they're like, oh, just just maybe a hundred meters up. Oh, We're already like hour and a half into this ordeal. We we'll get to the water and it's like a dark swamp land up the side of a mountain with trees and bugs. But it's pretty magical. It looks pretty, but it's not campable. No, not campable. Oh, we're like, oh. And he's like, oh, look, the trees end so soon. The trees end so soon. Fuck, 20 switchbacks later, the yeah. trees the trees end, and now we're here. Now we're here. Very good. All right, I am off to a quick water run this morning because where we camped last night on that side of that cliff mountain, uh, definitely no water, just all rock. But here is the water that we were also told about yesterday. Oh, it's muddy. Uh, coming right out of the tree. Beautiful sight. Uh, natural mountain spring, so that guy says.
those are pretty tall. Yeah. No idea what the tall one is though? All right. <clears throat> All right, we are to be sold to people on top of Cloud's Rest right now. All of Yosemite Park in view. This is the promised land. Keep going. <laughs> the last to uh, Sunrise Lake. Looks very nice. Ready to jump in. hard hike and then we go down and downhill's hard and then we have to go back up again it's like 80 degrees we're dying we hiked for like six hours five six hours without eating lunch because we thought we could go faster but there was way more uphill than we thought there would be and then we got to the, the sunrise lake trailhead and then so much more uphill and so we were pretty down bad shaky as well bad Okay, so we just made it to the Sunrise High Sierra Camp, coming from the Sunrise Lakes on our little night hike. And we were kind of nervous because some guys stopped us on the way and told us that the rangers said there's no camping here because of floods, but it doesn't seem to be too flooded. There's plenty of water, but not in the sights. But we get here and it is the worst mosquitoes we've ever experienced in our lives. It's pretty bad. So we were going to cook dinner, but now we just ate some pretzels and we're going to bed. But it is the most beautiful site other than mosquitoes that we've ever been at. Mountains and meadows. And There's a beautiful meadow with streams or rivers going through it. Uh, and then like a 180 view of different peaks with cathedral peaks being over there that we'll go to tomorrow. But the mosquitoes are... Really cramping the mood. I mean, there's just hundreds. There's thousands. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we're waking up at Sunrise High Sierra Camp. It's very beautiful. Colors are starting to fade away as it gets brighter. But we're very happy that there's no mosquitoes, although it's very cold and all our stuff is kind of dewy. There's pretty frosty grass here, so it must have been like in the 30s this morning. There's the meadow.
So it's day four. We have surpassed our expected miles for the day. We decided to hike into Tulum Meadows for a little treat and maybe take the shuttle if we so desire to. So we get to the visitor center and the kind man lets us know that the shuttle has been over for a few years now. So we'll be hiking along the road in Tulum. It's beautiful. Tulumne. Tulumne, I'm sorry, Tulumne. Had to make a quick pit stop for dinner and a little wash at uh, where some like Rafiti Creek meets Lyle Creek. Rafete. Now we're back to uh, up the canyon. <laughs> this is where we slept last night. We stopped. Um kind of later in the afternoon to clean all of our stuff at the river and we were very very tired and we debated just sleeping there but we decided to go a couple more miles down the trail we made it like three more minutes down the trail and found this spot and it's been pretty nice this morning it's pretty cold and windy we're just sorting out our wet clothes and the rest of our food for this resupply and what else oh it's gonna be three mile an hour wind today so Today is going to be a short day anyway, so we'll probably just wait out the little bit worse weather. And then hit Donahue Pass tomorrow morning. And it's day five. And we, we kind of had a day zero, so it's six days of like six, backpacking. Six days of, yeah. The tent life. Of roughing it. Yeah. About all your poop. Yesterday we were so tired. And we got here and counted up how many miles we did because we kind of went off schedule. We did 11.8, which was a lot. So go us. Today will be shorter. It is the beginning of day six. Day five, we slept in there somewhere in Lyle Canyon. Day five was pretty short, didn't have a lot of food. So morale was pretty low. But today, oh, and day five was very windy and pretty cold and on and off rain, so. Didn't do too much on day five, but uh, day six we got Donahue Pass ahead, so hopefully we get there before the snow gets too melty. Just did Donahue Pass. Just made it over Donahue Pass and we had some lunch. And it kind of sucks. 
Wow, a really anti-climatic path. It wasn't on purpose. <laughs> I ran and just... Still has many islands, but it's not Thousand Island Lake, Garnet, Garnet Lake. Okay, now continue. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> You can only really understand how steep it is if you start at level and then go down. And then maybe go up to level. Well, here on some pretty steep switchback. And this is our third tree crossing of this side. Either they don't come out to clear the trees very often, or the wind a couple days ago. Really did some damage. Okay, it's the end of day seven. Well, first of all, we ate enough food, so we're doing very well because we decided to get to Red's Meadow earlier. So we had a free dinner and breakfast to eat, so we're feeling great. But we started at Thousand Island Lake, and then we got to Garnett Lake, which is just like on the other side of this like mountain from Thousand Island Lake. And it was really pretty, and they looked kind of pretty similar. And then after that, we saw Gem Lake, which was a really good dark blue color. 
And then we saw Shadow Lake. Shadow Lake was unremarkable. Sorry, I forgot it. And then, and then Rosalie Lake, which had a lot of camping spots and it had a nice stream, but we wanted to get a little bit further down the trail so that tomorrow would be easier. So we are here at Gladys Lake and it's very shallow and warm, which is fun. So we might go in the water tomorrow. And there's a lot of frogs and water bugs and things, some different wildlife. So you can make the trail out there, fallen trees galore, more and more and more trees all over the trail, everywhere. Gotta just be from that wind a couple days ago. Again, unless they never come out here, but there's just this. And we're to Red's Meadow. <laughs> Somewhere. It's kind of just like a rancher view though. Hey James, tell me what you just saw. <laughs> well, like a half hour ago we saw a black bear running through the trail, which where we are now, and then just then we saw a uh, show where it was through the like an eight point right there. run through our camp. <laughs> Sit there and just stare at us. <laughs> Shoo away. Right here. <laughs> We're stumbled upon some trails, I guess. <laughs> Soda water. Straight from the spring. Carbonated, carbonated spring water. Not even kidding. Why is it spicy? <laughs> All right, we're here eating lunch at a little stream and we just had an animal encounter. Right running through here was a Sierra Nevada pine marten. So we think. What'd you think of it, James? Uh, it's pretty. Never seen anything like it. Just thought it was something from Avatar. It was funky. Yeah, it didn't look like anything that we Real. knew what it was. Yeah. See? So where are we staying? <laughs> 
Creek, but that comes before Skull Lake. It is day 10. It's very, very cold. 23. And the wind is going. So it's like. Yeah. Um, we're at Duck Creek. There's kind of a, a rapid coming all the way down beside us, making lots of white noise, uh, making it hard to sleep. Yeah, it's uh, in a one big cascade. Duck Lake somewhere up there, we're not going to it. Um, Probably another nine mile day, up and downhill. Uh, and it's gonna be really cold. Today and the next couple days, it's gonna be very cold. Snowing. Pretty cold. The sun will come out tomorrow. Tomorrow. Purple Lake. Not quite as windy down by Purple Lake. And now, beautiful blue skies. A little bit of wind, but no more snow. No more uh, cold from clouds. We got the sun warming us up. Easy day ahead. Do, 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 do. Wow.
hills were in the teens and it was snowing and it was uphill for a little bit longer than we could be. And then there was a water crossing and I fell in the water a little bit and then we were at an all-time low sitting behind a rock for a long time. And it was downhill for quite a while and then the sun came out at the bottom of the hill and everything kind of warmed up and it stopped snowing and it got better. And then we made it most of the way up Silver Pass today with the water bottles. And here we are, it's beautiful up here. It's still windy and cold, but blue skies and no snow is nice. We got Squaw Lake uh, up there somewhere. And then a big old cascade of waterfalling creeks all the way off the edge. Trees are kind of funky up here. You're right. Squaw Lake at sunset. Silver Pass, some snow melt, pretty lake. Yeah, we're down there. Yeah. It's interesting. Bruce Aspens. Yay. Cool.
Whoa. Where? This is gonna be like five flowers. Oh, and this one up here, huh? Yeah. They're so close. They're so pretty. What? Oh, checking. It is the night of day 11. 11. We are at, we are near, we are near Lake Thomas Edison. But we have not seen it and we may never see it. Maybe tomorrow we will. It's over there though. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Kirsten didn't cry today. <laughs> um, day day eleven. Uh, we started at started with Silver Pass. It wasn't too bad. No, some snow. It was way snowier than Donahue Pass. But it was less steep where the snow was, so it wasn't as scary. Yeah, it was. Donahue more... was really steep where the snow was, so it was like a real fall. That's, that's okay. true. That's true. Um, it was just downhill. It was just bad downhill. Just like oh yeah, after the pass just kills pure, your ankles. Pure downhill, uneven rocks. You think downhill's good, but downhill's slow. When it's steeper like that, yeah, it's probably slower than the uphill. Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> Similar speed to the uphill. So today took a while, <clears throat> even though it was pretty short mileage. Um. We had our first bigger water crossing. Yep. And I was ready to change it to the Chacos, but we found an alternate route. No, a PCT or would just immediate, immediate change to Chacos. Change to Chacos and uh, spot those rocks. Hell no, Chacos <laughs> on. No, we we managed to cross the rocks. Um, it was really cold, so I didn't want to get wet. There was a pretty waterfall earlier. Mm -hmm. Lots of waterfalls over like rock, like big flat rocks, rocks where it like. Disperses. Pretty cold again. Bugs weren't too bad because it was so cold. Less cold than yesterday though, because the sun was out. Still pretty windy though. The wind, yeah, hard to beat. But no snow. I love that. Dessert. Yeah, we got blueberry peach crisp dessert. <laughs> Two more days till resupply. Two more days. Three more days until extraction. AK rescue. Today is Saturday. We'll be picked up Tuesday night. Um. I think that's all I have to know. <laughs> yeah. There was a butterfly that flew into your camera. Oh. We're looking at the reason that we might not make it to camp before dark. No, don't take it. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> well, he we just caught a... How big do you think it was? Six to eight inch? <laughs> Uh, I have no idea what kind of trout. <laughs> we'll figure it out later. Um, butchered the butchering of it, um, but I didn't waste any meat. It's all in here. Cook it up with some oil and see. It cooked immediately. We turned turn we turned on the flame and it like popped open. It was like. <laughs> it's a bite. <laughs> and more. 
Oh, come on. This, <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> Cooking the rest of the meat. <laughs> Didn't cook a lot. You're naive. We thought it took like <laughs> two minutes aside to cook, but. Oh, oh, this is a really horrible shot. That looks like a lot. Make <laughs> <laughs> it all right. <laughs> All right, recap. This is the fishing recap. Of the, of the fish, <laughs> of the fish catch and cook. Uh, it was very good once we actually cooked it <laughs> properly. When we were just picking it off of the fish, uh, it definitely wasn't cooked yet. It was but, a little bit, it was enough. But we picked off some of the meat, cooked it up all the way, and it was really good. So uh, definitely, if there's a if there's a good opportunity, definitely would do again. Very very tasty. Fish jump. You saw a fish jump? <laughs> Maybe run? There's so many on this You can't stop. Keep going. I'm going. <laughs> It's like a fish pond at like uh, <laughs> blue water. Yes. Wave. <laughs> Camp final. It is the final night of it is day thirteen. It's uh day thirteen. It's the end of day thirteen. Is our last full day out on the trail with our amended schedule. John's gonna get us 
tomorrow, late tomorrow. So we'll have a full day 14 here. And we got like another 10 miles or something to the extraction point, Lawrence Lake. So it'll be a full day and we'll have to grab our food from JMT Ranch. So packs will be heavy. Yeah, and true, it'll be 10 <laughs> miles or whatever with, with max weight packs. And he's not getting there until like eight or something. So we'll have a full day out there. Um, anyways, today, day 13, we started at Bear Creek, right? We did the Bear Creek River crossing, our first real river crossing. <laughs> Although we could have made it across with boots, jumped on the rocks. At least I could have for sure. I didn't need to do the Chacos, but I did for the experience. And then we went up, up, up. Uh, to Selden Pass, which was pretty snow free, but there was very pretty lakes. Marie Lake uh, was very pretty, but the bugs really bad. The way down was also pretty. More rivers and lakes. We went downhill for uh, well, 1 then, p.m. to 7 p.m. Yeah, a lot of downhill. <laughs> but then we went down and we, at our lunch break, did a little fishing excursion and <laughs> caught two fish. Again, I don't know what type of trout they were. We'll figure that out when we get home. Um, but they were really pretty. Um, one of them was like 11 inches. One, the other one was like nine. So the one, the one yesterday was probably like six or seven. I don't know. Uh, so they had a lot more meat on them, but it also took forever to uh, <laughs> clean and cook and eat. So, and he fell in the river. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And I was washing my hands or something. Uh, I, I went for Boots a rock. Boots and everything. I went for a rock that was not stable. And one boot went in, and then the other boot went in. But with the waterproof boots and the darn tough socks, didn't even notice it uh, like 10 minutes later. Yeah. And then we, it's more downhill to the most, maybe the most extreme downhill we've done yet. PCTers were huffing and puffing on their way up, which we've means never, a lot. <laughs> we've never seen that before. Um, but now we're, this was only like this is about like two thirds of the way down, maybe even less. Tomorrow we'll have a Point lot six. more. Tomorrow we'll, we'll have love. Oh, in the, the trail. Yeah, we'll have a lot of downhill to the ranch tomorrow. <clears throat> but tomorrow will be easy. Can we eat a honey stinger right now? Sure. We don't need that. Ooh, another granola milk. <laughs> That's a pretty shot. To the lake, Florence Lake. Florence Lake. Okay, now I'll go. 